Shout out to G-Man Boxing. All right, people. We obviously know Manny Pacquiao versus Errol Spence. It's not. Off. It's not happening. Right, and I think that this is a fight that won't happen. I wouldn't be shocked if this Manny Pacquiao's last fight win or lose. He is getting in there with your Dennis Ugas. All right, that's the replacement. As replacements go, on short note, as I know Ugas was said to be on this card, but as replacements go, it's pretty damn good. It has to be said. It's a pretty damn good replacement. You know, normally when it's short notice replacements, it's it's never going to be, you're never going to get as good. Your Dennis Ugas isn't as good as Errol Spence, we know that. But he is still a top 10, possibly top 5, depending on how generous you want to be. Certainly for my money, he gave Sean Porter an extremely tough fight. Gave him all he could handle. Many people believe he beat Sean Porter. Many people do. All right, Your Dennis Ugas is a very much an all-rounded fighter. There's nothing really dramatically special about him, necessarily. The one thing I will say that really is impressed with Rodenish Ugas is his physical strength. His physical strength is incredible. Like to put it in context, Sean Porter is one of the most physically strong welterweights I've seen in a long, long, long time. Rodenish Ugas in that fight, he looks stronger than Sean Porter in there. So your Dennis Ugas' physical strength is incredible. Everything else he does is very good as well. Like he's one of these fighters, he can fight at close range, he can fight at mid range, he can pop a jab out, he's got a very good jab, you know, he is good, he puts it on opponents, he puts it on them well. You know, he done that against Ray Robinson, he was able to knock Ray Robinson out. I mean, we all think, I'm, I definitely think Ray Robinson beat Josh Kelly. So I know Josh Kelly is not world level in terms of welterweight, but Ray Robinson is a good operator. Your Dennis Ugas was able to stop him. Beat the crap out of Omar Figueroa. That was the first loss he ever get he ever had was Omar Figueroa. As I said, lost to Sean Porter in a very, very close. I think that was a split decision. This is no mug for Manny Pacquiao. Absolutely not. So if anyone's looking at this thinking, and I think probably because Dennis Ugas had a couple of losses, he said himself five years ago he was 15 and 3. I think that kind of makes people look at it and think, oh, he's not that good. And then Ugas is a much improved fighter. He's excellent. He's very good, all-rounded, sturdy welterweight, very physically strong. I think that might shock Manny Pacquiao when he's been in there because, honestly, although Manny Pacquiao has fought guys like Margarito at 154, Udenish Ugas maybe, may, may, I say may, may be the strongest that Manny Pacquiao has been in there with because his physical strength, if you go back and look at the Sean Porter fight, it's there for everyone to see. Udenish Ugas is incredibly physically strong. This isn't a prediction video. I'll touch on that more one of the days this week in a separate video but certainly this isn't a bad opponent certainly not a bad opponent i like this fight i do you know obviously i'm a boxing fan i wanted to see spence versus pacquiao i was excited for spence versus pacquiao i really wanted to see it a short notice opponent to go although your energy was meant to be on the card it's a good opponent it's a very good opponent manny pacquiao was a chance to win back his welterweight world title the wba version which he was made champion in recess, so he's getting an immediate crack at his title now against Ugas. I think this is a great fight. All right, it really does. I, I think that Manny Pacquiao. It see with me, it's very hard to say. I think Manny Pacquiao will win this because of this, this, this. Because I'm looking at the Pacquiao fought Terman. Pacquiao fought Terman. Yeah, he beats your energy Ugas in my opinion. Doesn't stop him, but he beats him. But it's been two years since that fight. Manny Pacquiao, this isn't like someone who is 30 two years ago and now he's 32. This is someone who was 40 two years ago and now he's 42. You can age overnight like that. Just like that. Age overnight. It's been two years. Is that speed still there? Even then, like two years ago, Manny Pacquiao was still one of the fast welterweights around. But has that speed diminished? You know, has the reflexes slowed down enough? Has his punch resistance gone down a bit slightly? You know, because it does tend to go with age. So for me, there's a lot of question marks about Manny Pacquiao. If your Dennis Ugas goes in there and wins a very competitive fight over Manny Pacquiao, you would imagine that Spence would have done a lot better. So you kind of be thanking your lucky stars that that didn't happen. 
at the end of the day, Manny Pacquiao was one of those styles where it's very difficult to prepare for, especially if you're taking it on short notice. Like, Renegy Ugas wasn't preparing for Manny Pacquiao. He might have known there was a possibility, but he had an opponent already in the works. I reckon Manny Pacquiao will win this fight, but I'm not sure. I'll touch on it more in a prediction video, what I think they need to do. But for me, this is a good replacement. But as replacement opponents go, you can't stiff your nose up at this fight. Your Dennis Ugas is a very, very, very good fighter. Extremely good. So for me, this is a tricky, tricky fight for Manny Pacquiao. Very tricky. So I think that as opponents go, as I said, it's good. I want to know what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts on your Dennis Ugas? Are you like me very much in the, the belief that your Dennis Ugas is a very good fighter? He's definitely a top 10, maybe top 5 welterweight. And this is going to be a tough night to work for Manny Pacquiao. You know, very seldom you see fighters 42 years of age in the welterweight division having two years out of the ring going straight in there and eat and fighting your Dennis Ugas. Imagine that. People would say, oh, it should have been Spence. Yes, Ugas is still a good fighter. So you're going in after two years fighting him? Hey, oh, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Definitely. So that's my video for today. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. If you could, smash the like button. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. It really does help your boy out. For now, lads and lasses, I'll talk to you. Peace.